this person should be here. This, where's this person? And there are even some people that asked, hey, where's so-and-so? Where's so-and-so? And um, well, I'll say it. Where the fuck was Steph Darnell? Yeah. I but mean, let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. When I saw that roster, I was like, wait a minute. That's my obvious pick. Yeah. He's definitely a killer. Top five, you know, of Albuquerque's best. Um, he's a name I would have thrown in there, and he's someone uh, a couple of us asked about. I'm not sure if I remember the whole answer to that. Uh, um, there could be other things going on there, but yeah, he's definitely one of the people. Sarah Kennedy. I mean, if you're going to give someone uh, who can kill almost any room, any size, someone who I would, uh, you know, if someone's like, who's the best comedy in Albuquerque? She's one of the top names. I'd be like, you know, there's these guys... There's this person, and she's definitely in that collection of names. But um, my opinion is that uh, it's great because it's given some people uh, a, a good a good place to start or get some experience. Um, who did I see? There are a couple of my friends. Uh, I think Black Mike did a, a set, or Mike Ogden. My apologies. I, he's trying to go by Mike Ogden now. But... Uh, um, I, I think he did a set. A couple of my other friends who I know are really funny did a set. A um, couple of my friends who are really funny did not get a call. And I was like, what the fuck's up with that? Like, if I, he's definitely someone that you could probably book his own show there. You know, a couple of people could probably book their own show there. Um, there was a point, and again, we're all on our own comedy journey. There was a point where it felt to me and maybe this is just because um, the because uh, uh, the the uh, person who the club is named after had to do a different type of set. They had to do like a a, a longer set, and it was a little bit um, because it's their club, you know. It was a little bit you know uh, different. Like you had to, I don't know if you had more feelings for hey, this is where I started. This is finally got this thing. There was a little bit of that. I got the distinct feeling. Uh, and again, not to criticize anybody, uh, but I got the distinct feeling that a couple of the comics that were up there, uh, I gauged a s more significant reaction to them than to the actual headliner, the person who was like there, who was opening the club. Which, you know what? I got to be honest with you. Out of any problems you could have opening a comedy club, that's one of the best ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And who knows? Maybe maybe that person, you know, they're a little too emotional. Maybe they're a little bit tied up in being the owner or having their name on it. So there's certain obligations or things. Um, to me, when I was listening to everything, I heard all of the comics kill. The reaction, though, for the end of the show was not what I would have expected comparatively speaking to the other people that went before. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, did you hear something along the same line? I or? haven't, but I, am I surprised? No, I'll be completely honest. I am not surprised in the slightest. And that's a, that's not a knock towards SMQ, but I mean, again, if there, if there was a list of issues that you could have, not just running a business, right. Oh, but sure, with a comedy yeah. club, the audio is shit. The lighting doesn't work all that great. The credit card systems didn't process properly. The fucking sodas were flat. The booze wasn't, or the cocktails weren't made right. The booze sucked. The selection yeah. wasn't wide enough. The chairs are uncomfortable. The table, and I've, and I, I maybe I should have prefaced by saying this. I've only been to my, uh, uh, I've only been to Quesadas once, and I went obviously as an audience member because I have no fucking business being up there. Uh, as a comedian. Oh, who knows? I mean, <laughs> not right now. Not right now. Not in a few years. I know where I am. I know exactly where I am. I know what I am. I'm proud to announce that the podcast is now officially sponsored by the fine people over at Chop Chili Company. Guys, this is some of the best chili you can get here in the state of New Mexico, and they are online as well as in stores. They can be found at Smith's, Albertson's, Sprouts, John Brooks, and Lowe's Corner Market. They have three amazing flavors that you see here, and they also have frozen green chili that you can get online. Go on over to the website, chopchiliCo.com and get yourself some amazing chili today. Podcast is now officially sponsored by the amazing people over at High Desert Relief, a premier herbal destination right here in the state of New Mexico. They have extremely well-trained and knowledgeable staff that are more than happy to help you find what you're looking for or try something that you maybe have never thought of. 
Uh, they have two locations here in Albuquerque, one in Santa Fe. All three will be listed right here and in the description of this episode. All three offering legendary products at absolutely legendary prices, including this awesome merch that they were so kind enough to gift me here. All of this can be found at all three of their locations. Again, big thank you to the guys over at HDR for supporting. Now back to the episode. 